I, John and Ken show. John Cobelt and Ken Shampo. It's KFI AM 640. Right, let's bring in the real world. We're talking about a man named Rodney Scott, chief patrol agent of the Border Patrol San Diego sector. This is actually a sworn declaration. And what he's talking about is how California's sanctuary policies are making it very difficult for Border Patrol agents in the field to carry out what's right. For example, a drunken driving case. Agents conducted a stop of a car under their immigration powers. They found no immigration problems, but it was obvious the driver was drunk. So the agents called the local Indio Police Department. But cops said we're not responding because the initial vehicle stop was immigration-based. You see what this does? So they're going to let the guy drive drunk? They had to. No, they didn't have to. They chose to. No, the Border Patrol agents had to. Under those circumstances, Border Patrol had no choice but to release the intoxicated subject to the public. And if he ran over some school children? Yeah, that's on the Indio Police. That's what he says. Yeah, tell that to the dead school children. Another case, El Cajon police did not respond as immigration agents called for help during a 20-mile highway chase through their own jurisdiction. Uh, Apparently, in this case, this, this declined assistance occurred even though it involved a vehicle that failed to yield, endangering federal law enforcement and the public while traveling on a California interstate and highway within their jurisdiction. These, these idiot uh, progressive politicians, Jerry Brown, Kevin DeLeon, Garcetti, Libby Schaff, they don't care if ICE officers or Border Patrol officers die. They don't care. They're not going to allow their local cops to help in any way, even if it means the death of these men. And uh, um, that's how sick they are. They're psychotic now. Uh, they, they, you, you've seen this, these extremist... Uh, movements have gone on like all our lives, right? And the politics are different from time to time. The issues are different. But the behavior is the same. They they get so extreme and so fanatical and blinded, nothing matters, even if you die. Right? It's like, it's like the remember the crazy people in Waco years ago, right? They didn't care if they died. Didn't matter to them. It's, it's, it's like uh, the weather underground uh, back in the 1960s. They were blowing up cops, and they didn't care if they blew up themselves. didn't matter if they died. They were so fanatical for the cause. Here's so another we, story. So now we have these guys running the city and the state. California Highway Patrol officer pulls over what turns out to be a fake UPS truck. Invalid registration. Turned out the plates were cloned, and this truck was an immigrant smuggling operation. A Border Patrol agent pulled up to assist, which is a common courtesy among law enforcement agents when they see another officer conducting a solo stop, and he took control of the immigration case, arresting the illegal aliens and the driver. But Agent Scott said if his agent hadn't been there, the highway patrol officer could have let the smuggler and all 77 illegal aliens go. And the highway patrol later complained about the stop. They complained that the immigration guy showed up. Oh, that's crazy. And they said it was a negative encounter due to the passage of Senate Bill 54. Oh, They're admitting God. it. 77 illegal aliens in a truck? Yes. Well, that's a real compassionate response to the 77 illegal aliens, huh? It's hard to believe, but there, this was sworn this testimony crazy. from this Agent Scott about what they're encountering here in California thanks to our sanctuary state policies. A lot of local law enforcement is saying, we don't want anything to do with you immigration guys. Stay away from us. They're... they're, they're this is really crazy. And you know what's interesting is that now some of the immigration agents are saying, well, you know what? We're not turning over people to local law enforcement either. We're just going to take them and deport them because we know if we do, if we turn them over to local law enforcement for them to serve their jail time for the offenses, we're never going to see them again. They're just going to release them into the community when yeah, they're done. That's so sick. we're just going to take them now and get them ready that's to be sick. deported because they're still illegal aliens no matter what's going on. You know, law- laws don't matter in California. It's clear. We're we're in some kind of uh, apocalyptic oh, it's a state banana here. Banana republic. Yeah, hard to believe. Laws don't matter. All right. When we come back, the road diet story from Pasadena we talked about earlier this week. We found a listener who says she wants to lead the revolt, 
and he's looking for other people to get involved. We'll talk to Frank next. John and Ken show, 